Today, we are going to study about semi-auxiliary verbs. Now, what are semi-auxiliary verbs? These are those verbs that are followed by an infinitive. Let's have a look at first auxiliary for today. The verb aller, which means to go. The verb aller is an ER verb, but it has irregular conjugation for the present tense. It is used as a semi-auxiliary verb and in many expressions as well. Let's have a look at the conjugation of the verb aller. We have je vais, je vais, tu vas, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va, nous allons, have the linking, vous allez, again the linking, ils vont, elles vont. Let's go through it one more time. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Now that we've understood the conjugation, let's have a look at few examples. Here comes the first example. Je vais à la banque. Je vais à la banque. Je vais à la banque. Which means I'm going to the bank or I go to the bank. Next one. Nous allons au cinéma. Nous allons au cinéma. Which means we are going to the cinema. And the third one. Tonio et Iné vont à Paris pour les vacances. Tonio et Iné vont à Paris pour les vacances. Which means Tonio and Ines are going to Paris for vacation. Now that we've understood how to conjugate the verb aller with different subjects, let us put it into an exercise. As you guys already know the drill, you have five seconds to answer and you'll be having three questions on the screen. Fill in the blank with the correct conjugation of the verb aller. Here comes the first one, ou, tu. Remember the English translation is given to you for better comprehension. I'll repeat the sentence. Où tu? Since we have the subject tu, we know the conjugation is va. So we have où va tu? Où va tu? Now since it's a question, we will raise our pitch at the end. So we'll say où va tu? Où va tu? The next one. Je blonde à l'école. I'll repeat. Je blond à l'école. Since we have je as a subject, the conjugation is a V and we have je vais à l'école. Je vais à l'école. Remember to lower down your pitch, lower down your volume because it's a sentence. Je vais à l'école. And the third one, vous blond ou pour les vacances. Vous blond ou pour les vacances? As we can see, we have the subject vous. The conjugation would be aller. So we have vous allez où pour les vacances? Vous allez où pour les vacances? Now that we're done with the exercise, let's move on to learn some of the expressions used with the verb aller. The first one. Aller à la pêche, aller à la pêche, which means to go fishing. The second one, aller à pied, aller à pied, which means to go on foot, to go on foot. The third one, aller en voiture, aller en voiture, which means to go by car, to go by car. Fourth one. An aller simple, an aller simple, which means one way tour, one way tour. And the last one, an aller retour, an aller retour, which means round way ticket. Now that we are done with the conjugations of the verb aller, let's move on to the next semi-auxiliary verb, and that is the verb faire. Faire is one of the most important and useful verbs in French and it means to do or to make. It depends on the context. 
Let's have a look at the conjugations. And the conjugations are Je fais, je fais, tu fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait, on fait, il fait, elle fait, on fait, nous faisons, nous faisons, vous faites, vous faites, ils font, ils font, elles font, elles font. Let's have a look at them one more time. Je fais, tu fais, ils, elles ont fait, or il fait, elle fait, on fait. Nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, elles font. Now that the conjugations are clear, let's have a look at a few examples for better understanding. Here comes the first example. Avec des légumes, je fais un potage. Avec des légumes, je fais un potage. With vegetables, I am making a soup. So over here, the context is to make. The next one. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Which means, what do you do? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Now over here, the context is, what do you do? To do. Now that the examples are clear, let's move on to the exercise. You guys already know the drill. Five seconds to answer your question. And three sentences will be displayed on the screen. Here comes the first one. Nous blons du ski dans les Alpes. Nous blons du ski dans les Alpes. Here comes the first one. Nous blons du ski dans les Alpes. I repeat. Nous blons du ski dans les Alpes. We can see. The subject is nous, so we have faisons. So we have nous faisons du ski dans les Alpes. Nous faisons du ski dans les Alpes. The next one. Vous blond du sport. Vous blond du sport. Since we have the subject vous, the conjugation will be fait. So we have vous faites du sport. Raise your picture a little. Vous faites du sport. And the last one. Il blond le tour du monde en bateau. Il blond le tour du monde en bateau. Very good. Since we have the subject il, the conjugation is font. So we have il font le tour du monde en bateau. Il font le tour du monde en bateau. Now that we have our concepts cleared for the conjugation of the verb fair, let's have a look at a few of the expressions. Here comes the first one. Faire des achats. Faire des achats. Which means to do shopping. An activity that is loved by all. Faire des achats. I would love if you guys make a sentence with it. The next one. Faire du basket or foot. Or any sport that you like. Faire du basket or foot. That means to play basket or soccer. Next one. Faire beau mauvais. Now when you are describing weather in French, you always use the verb faire. And you say il fait beau, which means it's pleasant. Or il fait mauvais, which means it is unpleasant or not good. So, faire beau ou mauvais. Next one, faire chaud, froid. Now, when you're describing the weather, you need to use the verb faire in place of avoir. Avoir is used when you're talking about yourself. Whereas faire is used when you're describing the weather. So, if you want to say it is hot, you'll say il fait chaud. And if you want to say it's chilly, it's cold, you'll say il fait froid. So, we have Faire chaud ou froid. And the last one. Faire la cuisine. Faire la cuisine. Which means to do the cooking. Or to cook. Faire la cuisine. And that's it for today. If you like this video, drop us a like. 
For more such videos, subscribe to our channel and tap on the bell icon to be notified. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Au revoir.